assistance. A little earlier, Theo Chikomba explained the reason for this latest change. Essentially, this is about how long he's going to stay in prison. Ian Stewart appealed against his whole life term and he was successful. Now, all convicted murderers receive a life sentence, but at some point they will get a chance of parole. Very few are given a whole life sentence, meaning they will never be released. Stewart's representative argued that the whole life order he was given for the murder of his wife was not justified in the circumstances of the case. In a court of appeal ruling today, five senior judges said grave though the first murder was, it could not, viewed in isolation from the later second murder, be regarded as an offence of exceptionally high seriousness. As a result, his sentence has been reduced to life with 35 years minimum in prison. In practice, what this will mean is that Ian Stewart will stay in prison until he's around 90 years old before he has the possibility of seeking release on licence.